Hello and welcome. When you've been diagnosed with Fuchs endothelial dystrophy, you may wonder, should you simply grin and bear it for as long as possible? Should you just cope with your deteriorating vision? I too face these difficult questions. I'd like to speak to you about the challenges of the quest for a clear cornea and better vision. You may be already experiencing the symptoms caused by the loss and deterioration of the endothelial cornea cells. And you may be wondering how long you should put up with the disturbance caused by fluctuating and deteriorating vision. Until quite recently, we were told to put off surgery and to cope for as long as possible until the symptoms impacted negatively on our lives. In fact, many of us learn to cope so well that we've managed to compensate for the loss of good vision. When compensating for a period of time, we may actually, without realizing it, be compromising the quality of our lives, our safety, and the safety of others. Because there are newer and safer options available for the treatment of Fuchs, the most experienced surgeons no longer advise to simply cope and live with progressively distressing symptoms. We like to say that Fuchs is fickle. During visual exams, acuity may appear to remain adequate, yet a Fuchs patient may be compromised by other factors such as difficulty with changing variations of vision during the day, blurriness, which cannot be corrected by glasses, as well as problems with glare, depth perception, and contrast. Be sure to explain to your doctor exactly what you are experiencing, and be sure you've chosen a specialist with much experience in dealing with Fuchs. For more information, please visit us at www.thecornealdystrophyfoundation.org and join us at Fuchs Friends. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again.